Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In this one, I will discuss as well showcase how to complete the brand new secrets of the Pacific event the fastest here in Call of Duty Vanguard. So if you guys weren't already aware, a little bit earlier today, the first ever in-game event for Vanguard did end up going live and is of course called Secrets of the Pacific. If you weren't already aware, this particular event is available in Vanguard as well as Warzone and it ties into the brand new Caldera map that we are going to be seeing in Warzone with Season 1 that will be coming out in two weeks from now. So with that in mind, of course, this is the first ever in-game event for Vanguard. However, it's going to be running identically to the events that we saw back in Black Ops Cold War. For instance, the recent The Haunting event that we did end up seeing back in October. So if you guys ever completed a Black Ops Cold War in-game event, you're going to know how this will be working. So with that in mind, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, this event is available in Warzone as well as Vanguard. And there are two sets of challenges for the two games. Interestingly enough, there are 12 challenges in total. Six of them are available in Vanguard and six of them are available in Warzone, and if you complete all six challenges in either Warzone or Vanguard, you are going to be getting the Bomber Menace blueprint for the STG-44 Assault Rifle, which in my opinion, this particular blueprint looks really cool. So with that in mind, in today's video, I am going to be primarily focusing on the challenges in Vanguard. However, a little bit later, if you guys would like to see a video of mine discussing how to complete the Warzone challenges, make sure you comment down below your thoughts on that. So with that said, without further ado, let's dive right into it. And all right, so first and foremost, this particular event is going to be lasting for 13 days and will be running until the launch of Vanguard Season 1 in December. With that in mind, the first challenge states get 25 eliminations and once you can play that particular challenge, you are going to be getting the Home in Paradise Calling card. So yeah, overall this one is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. All you need to do is get 25 kills and luckily enough, the DOS House 24-7 playlist is currently live. So all you have to do is go in there, get 25 kills. It's really not that hard and they are going to be completing the first challenge. So we're off to a pretty good start. That one's kind of straightforward. And with that in mind, the next challenge states get five multi kills. And once you complete that particular challenge, you are going to be getting the tropical token emblem. So in similar fashion to the 25 eliminations, hop into the DOS house playlist and just go for multi kills. I would highly recommend using something like a submachine gun or a shotgun that has a really fast time to kill at close range and will allow you to take out multiple opponents very effectively. And as an example, in the gameplay that you guys are watching, I'm using the PPSH 41, which does the job very well. Now with that in mind, Let's move on over and talk about the third challenge, which states perform one finishing move. And once you do that, you are going to be getting the little submarine charm. So this one is going to be a little bit more tricky. Of course, you need to get a finishing move kill, and this might take a little bit more time. So there are a couple things that you can do. The first thing is try to get into a game with a larger map. If I'm not mistaken, there is a playlist that's simply just larger maps in this game. And what you're going to be trying to do is try to isolate an opponent, get behind them and perform the finishing move. But that's just one strategy. Another one that you could do is go into something like DOS house and throw down smoke grenades and wait in a corner and wait for someone to walk by and then when they're in the smoke and they're disoriented you run up to them and perform a finishing move. Now with that said give it some time have some patience and you are going to be getting a finishing move and completing this. So with that all being said now let's move on over into the next particular challenge and this one states vote for team MVP in 10 matches. So this is pretty easy all you have to do is wait to the end of the game then when you get to the MVP screen vote for whomever you want and you just need to do that 10 particular times and then you are going to be unlocking this particular challenge that gives you access to the learn to fly sticker so with that said now let's move on over to the next challenge which states play matches with another member of your clan five times so of course vanguard has clans which are very similar to regiments that we saw back in modern warfare and this particular challenge is associated with that and it's pretty straightforward now if you're not already in a clan all you have to do is just find a person that you like to play with because to start a clan you only need one other person to actually join and then you can play together and then once you have that person in your clan play five separate matches and they are going to be done so with that in mind now let's actually move on over to the final challenge which is yet three wins and of course with that particular challenge you are going to be unlocking the treasure the scenery calling card so yeah once again this one is pretty easy and frankly to get this challenge done the absolute quickest hop into the dos house playlist and search for tdm because tdm games go by extremely quickly so that means you can play a lot of them in very quick succession and you can try to go for this particular challenge while you're going for the last one because if you're playing with your friends the likelihood of winning a game is going to be going significantly up so play with your friends play the objective and play in the ship house 24 7 playlist and then eventually you are going to be winning three games and that's all you really need to do so quite frankly this particular event is pretty straightforward the challenges at least in vanguard multiplayer aren't very complicated and i would say that if you're efficient you can complete all these challenges in under an hour so yeah guys with that said that's going to effectively wrap up today's video i hope 
hope you went on to enjoy it. And if you did, do not forget to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and turn on post notifications. So that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, class ups, and all kinds of things like that. So thank you once again for watching. I'm your host, Deeper Junkle. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.